Oh, hello. Look at all this. It's the Scythian Cavalry. She's decided to spam out an absolute metric ton of it and attack me. You know, I sort of respect that. I do sort of respect that. Not really, but like kind of. What could I do to counter that? Well, apparently I can build pikemen. Doesn't seem right. I think it's because I haven't got the requisite buildings in my garrison at the moment. So just have a quick look. If I build a watchtower, I build harder troops now. No, there's pikemen again. Hang on, have they changed something? Have they changed something and I didn't notice? Anti-tank requires nitre. They have changed it. Okay. Sorry, Vietnam. I need to borrow something from you. Thank you. I'll give it back. I promise. No, I still can't get anything. There, there is nothing here that I can buy or even make. I'm missing some part of this mod, I think. What was the Panzer building? That was the next bin that I could put in. That's like ideology. I don't feel like I have to have that. Is it just that city? This one can still build heavy chariots and horsemen. Yeah, I think some units have been taken out of the mod and just not put back in properly, which is a little unfortunate, but, but never mind. These things sometimes happen. All right, let's just roll with what we've got. Field cannon core. 70 range strength, pretty powerful. Improves my cities no end. And it looks like Cavalry needs nitre and Scythia doesn't have any of it. So her <laughs> cavalry is currently ridiculously weak. All right, maybe we won't have such a problem after all. Ada Lovelace, more districts. I tell you what, districts is something I haven't really built much of and it sounds ridiculous to say, but I've built so many quarters. I have no space for districts, <laughs> like none at all. Venice is in this game again. How many commercial city-states are there? Blimey, it's all of them. I love that. That's a lot of fun. Tokyo never sleeps, That that does feel pretty pretty accurate. My Phil Cannon shreds the cavalry. Again, that feels pretty accurate. And one of the cavalry has got round and is about to try and start killing all of my traders, which I don't like. And conveniently for me, my battleship was actually on the way back to repair. So that's not good timing for you at all. Um, this cavalry though, that is a little bit more annoying. Luckily for me, I have a privateer in a lake. You didn't think that would be useful, did you? But it is. My progress towards nuclear program has advanced considerably because I have a research lab. Yes. That's a lot of fun. Where are you going, Mr. Cavalry? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Scorched Earth. Yay. Settler card replaces the Lance of Air card. That's amazing. 15% science once I take Fez because of Kilwa. 869 science per turn. You see, I knew I had more in me. There's always more in this particular instance. There genuinely was. Oh, yes. We're producing so many settlers. It's ridiculous. I should probably get an encampment going, though, just to make Make sure that we are using all of the benefits that we could possibly be getting. Like Lahore. Of all the places you could have gone. Why did you jump in this lake? It's not a place for you. Dear oh dear. My first artillery core is now made, however. That is lovely. I think I'll make a second. I think I'll just keep making these because they're brilliant. Oh, that's annoying. Everything broke again. I love floods on this piece. <laughs> Why did I build the fidget spinner over a floodable area? No one will ever know. No, I can't build observations balloons. What's with that? Hang on, I'm gonna have to look at the mod screen and see if we can figure this stuff out. All right, okay, so what it is is that certain troops require certain buildings. So for instance, if you want to build a musket, you have to have a barracks building in that city. So you, you physically have to make sure that you have the appropriate building. That's why I can build cavalry because I put stables in a lot of my stuff. I cannot, however, find anything that mentions observation balloons. So maybe it's something that needs an aerodrome. Just, we'll just extract that logically. All right, we'll see what we can do. I reckon we can probably force that one through. We might need to remove one of my districts, but that should be easy enough to do. Let's just charge in and give them a bit of a headache, I think. They have a lot of troops, but most of their troops are rubbish. Okay, it's a little bit of death by a thousand cuts here. None of the attacks are doing very much to me, but they do add up. I'd like extra population growth, please. Thank you. I'm in a golden age. I don't care about loyalty. Yay, it worked. And I can build a drone. We can build a drone. Yay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We've, I think we've bypassed whatever the issue we had before. City number 19. This one is in the tundra, which does suck a little bit, but we'll fix it up pretty quick. And city number 20. We've all improved extra stuff, like luxuries that I can then sell on the market. Okay, Savia is hitting quite hard here. I don't want to, I don't want this heat. This heat is too much for me. Pull my troops back, protect.
protect them. We're building more army. There's a lot more of making its way to the front line, so that's all lovely. Next up, we are going to satellites. We have one turn to make it to a thousand signs. I was kind of quite confident that I'd make it, but then I ended up building tons and tons of flood barriers, which sort of distracted me a little bit. I mean, I think that's fairly acceptable, given the fact that the world is flooding rapidly. Absolutely isn't my fault. No, 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 no. I don't know what makes you think that it could be my fault. It clearly isn't me. Mass media. Turn 180, 969. I did very much want to have a thousand by turn one. 200. 100, 200? You know what I mean. I think we can probably force this. I think we can library for four science. Yeah, go on then. Another one there. That's 978. We've got some more house of scribes and a public school. And we'll just let all the specialists work out there and we're up to a thousand. There you go. You see, I knew it was, uh, knew it was possible. Ah, that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Satellites. Oh yeah, aid request. We are on minus 200 there. Never mind. Let's be line for my nanotechnology now. And it looks like the tech tree converges on this point. Wow. That is a maximum research tech tree. And the drone comes in and suddenly my artillery has an opportunity to fire at these cities and do decent damage now. Ha ha. Saivia is producing a massive military. I cannot take it away from her, but I can take it away from her by killing it, which is exactly what we're going to try and do. I mean, it looks like a really large army that Tamaris is sending down, but it's just all trebuchets and the occasional unit. Like they're, they're normally levied units. Like that is a levied infantry. Mogadishu did that. Don't don't think that was Saivia. Don't give them the benefit of the doubt on that one because they don't deserve it. No, no, no. Feels weird to use artillery to shred troops here, but that's exactly what I need to do. At least until my reinforcements arrive. Here they are. Kyoto really pumping out some hard and fast troops now. Tank army. That could be fun. And here is city number 21, which is very exciting because we have oil. My first and only source of oil. I'm sure that one source will be enough to, you know, sustain my entire empire and that this is not going to be a problem for me. Absolutely not. Do you want to see my science island? It's, um, it's coming along nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets done here that isn't just hardcore science. Tell you what, Australia's having a good go on Vilnius. Look at this. Fortification health is high. They're just throwing diggers in, but they're very powerful troops, so maybe that's what they need to do. Maybe that's what you need to do to make this work. Now, builders, in theory, should be able to remove these quarters, but I don't see any option to do that. Like, I've got the civic for it, which was civil engineering. It allows builders and military engineers to demolish quarters. Let me go reading again. Maybe I'll find something else. Nope, it should just work. However, it might be something that maybe it's like a military engineer can do it and then it hasn't. So I'll try that. I'll see, see if it works. Sometimes these things just, they don't quite work and that's fine. You can forgive a little bit of stuff like that. But I do need to be able to remove some stuff because I need the space. Like Tokyo, for instance, I just assumed I'd be able to replace one of these tiles in order to put a spaceport down. So if I can't do that, um, that might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> Just a bit of a problem. Or we'll just have to make a spaceport city somewhere else and uh, just learn from the error of our ways. Okay, the trebuchets are actually doing more experience to me than they are damage. So I'm actually going to leave them alive now whilst my artillery fire over the top and have a lot of fun with the city. This is perfect now. Now, military engineer, come on. Have you got something that can remove anything? No? Nope. Can't remove courses. Okay, this is a this is a big problem. Or is it? Uh, no, no. Okay, Okiyama is going to be our big city now. Right, Okiyama is at absolutely going to stop making settlers and we're going to change over to raw nasty science and by that I mean spaceports yeah that, that should be fine this is this is fine let's put it away from the floodplain and all trade routes are now going to go to that city and production focus 192 production per turn tell you what before we've even really specialized this city that's pretty good I'm sure you don't mind me borrowing your city do you no almost probably not actually that opera house just gave me a ton of culture. Why did I not build that before? Brilliant. Tokyo is both an amazing city and an entirely useless city based on the fact that I can't get rid of quarters. <laughs> Oh well, I'm also burning so much coal making steel that I really don't have a huge amount to make a railroad. I'll try making a tiny bit, but we, we were really struggling here. City overlap lands is a really handy one. Put it on water park distance and you can see just where that will... Oh, here's this tile. Yeah, water parks everywhere. That's what we need to do. Everyone needs to be happy. This empire is so prosperous, but it is refusing to be happy, which is both brilliant and really annoying at the same time. Oh, I just cleared that barb camp and it 
just spawned infantry. That's not fair. Ah oh, well, never mind. We'll settle the city, which is my 22nd, and we'll just we'll just enjoy life. Oh, curtains bringing warrior monks to the party. Oh, Vilnius, you don't stand a chance. One attack, two attack, three attack. City taken. It's my first one. It's ridiculously late into the game to take it, but I like it. Let's immediately fix the walls and go for Galonus. City number 24. Am I building cities just for the oil? Yep, absolutely I am. This city is utterly useless apart from oil. But as you can see, Okiyama is now building a spaceport, so we're finally getting there now. We took our time, but we finally looks like we're achieving greatness. Ideology, that means five-year plan is now available, as well as the fact that I've now lost a decent military policy card. Let's go logistics. Actually, if we are fighting heavily, that would be quite handy. Public and legacy, Raj, colonial taxes, colonial offices. None of it is particularly good. Let's put Machiavellianism in because actually that's really handy. We can shovel a load of spies out. We haven't got a spy at the moment in Scythian lands. Uh, counter spying, all districts are defended. Brilliant. I think I actually just stopped someone killing Pingala. You see, sometimes you gotta build spies. I've always been telling people across this channel forever, forever and ever. Hey, everyone, you don't build enough spies. Let me, Ursa Ryan, master of building spies, show you how to do it. I, I can't believe people don't take my advice. Okay, next up, we've got to move our artillery into nice places so that they can fire. Logistics will help with this after next turn. Where's my drone? Here's my drone and fire. These are only ancient walls, but it stops them from building medieval walls, which we are literally doing. Do you see all of these little buttresses that are being built? Dear, oh dear, can't have that. You can't stop ancient walls being built, right? That's the one you can't stop. As long as a city doesn't have ancient walls, you can always build the walls. But as soon as ancient walls are in, a city has to have full fortification health in order to then have the next layer of walls built up. So just doing that tiny bit of damage means that they now can't upgrade their walls. Genius. That's what I say to that. 166 gold per turn for peace from Saivia. She's not enjoying this war. She's like, how many trebuchets have I got to throw at you to stop these artillery? And I'm like, oh, Saivia, don't even. Australia's got a bunch of spies over there, I can see. Oh my goodness. Calm it down, Australia. So now my remaining spy is going to head over to Saivia. It's going to take seven turns, but that'll give me a beautiful plus three combat strength. Not that I really need plus three combat strength. I should point out that my army is ridiculously powerful for what I'm using it for. Not that that's ever been a problem though. You know, bam, bam, grading to shells, giving field cannons, upgrades as well. Next turn we should take this city. Vilnius has six turns on it. There's a chance that I can actually help out here. Margaret Mead, spare thousand science. I mean, I'm earning a thousand per turn at the moment, so this, this does feel a little bit irrelevant. But in the spirit of sharing, we'll send you over to Australia. There you go. Australia's on 50 techs. I'm on 60. I've actually gone 10 ahead. Look at that. We can now do offshore oil wells as well, which is a big, big upgrade because I've got a lot of oil out to sea. Excellent. Right. This is good. In order to boost Okiyama up a little bit, now I'm actually going to convert a bunch of the cities around to oil power, which seems like it doesn't make much sense, but I do have vertical integration in this city. So all of the beautiful oil power plant bonuses, well, they will stack. Whereas coal, there's not, because coal only applies to the city that you build it in. Well, I do have uranium, by the way. There is uranium buried somewhere under this mass industrial complex, this mass scientific, just, I mean, it's all the same. It's all the same. Yeah, so, so it's, at some point there are some glowy people, but that, that's fine because we have uranium and I'm sure we'll be very responsible with it. Very responsible indeed. Helicopter comes in, takes the second city. How's the loyalty? Minus 17. Okay, it's because this 24 population monster is next door. I'm sure there's something we can do about that. Let me just have a, let me just have a quick think. Oh wait, yep, there is. It's called a massed artillery strike. Let's go. One, two. Oh, that's a anticlimactic. I didn't move my drone in. Two, three. There we go. I know how to move troops around, I promise. Suffrage. Now, the better choice with Japan normally is communism. And I would totally agree with that, but it's the policy cards. The policy cards are all wrong. I do not need three military policy cards. Like, I don't need them. It's just not a thing. So we're going democracy not for the trade routes, but for the gold discount and also the policy cards. So logistics is still in for now. We can put a new deal in, which is only going 
to apply to six cities, but we'll improve that as we get more. Yeah, this has been a very strange Japan game. I've really not put many districts down at all. Very, very odd. Economic Union will help as well. Well, bam, I'm hoping it's helped the prop, uh, production here. Yeah, 244 now, and the city's not even ecstatic. Come on, sort yourself out. In the middle of all this, though, we have built the first railway. Oh, now I can rest. Actually, that's a lie. I can't rest. We must never rest. 245 gold per turn now. Yeah, Tamaris is getting pretty desperate. <laughs> that's two thirds of her entire economy she's willing to just ship to me here. Don't worry. It's fine. I'm sure you'll get to keep some of your empire. Probably. Oh, wait, no. I'm just checking with the supervisors and they have decided that no, she gets to keep none of her empire. Oh, that is a shame. I reckon next turn we can take her capital. That will give me two turns to attack Vilnius, which which might be a little bit too much to do, but I'll probably have one turn of bombing. So maybe I can bomb enough for Australia to then walk a troop in, although they've moved their decent troops away and it's just warrior monks here now, which isn't very helpful. Who knows, eh? Oh, the Panzer factory's done. That's brilliant. 50% production towards modern and later era heavy and light cavalry units as well as giant death robots. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, five turn modern armor. Go on then. I will take some. There are a lot of wonders in this one city. I mean, let's have a look at this. Hanging gardens? Temple of Artemis. That's a hamlet. There's a lot of districts involved in this city as well. This will be a huge, huge asset to my empire as soon as I grab this. One, two, three. Move the drone over. And then four, five. Helicopter says, thank you. I will take your capital. I apologize, Australia. I have very much moved your troops away. And suddenly, loyalty, not a problem anymore. Amazing. By myself, one bomber. This should hopefully be able to bomb Vilnius. Maybe we'll see warrior monks take the city. I don't know. We've seen crazier things, you know? <laughs> Maybe I can actually buy a second bomber. Hang on. People really do like oil. People have been really desperate to buy oil. Ah, and so it proves. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, we're just, we're just the world's oil supply for a second. There's a second bomber. Right. I'm hoping we should be able to just leave that city on nothing. You know what? Why don't we just get a third? I'll sell some steel as well. Maybe the AI can actually build some troops. It's been, it's been struggling. It, it doesn't really know how to use the different pathways for troops. I mean, I got distracted and confused myself, to be fair. So I can see why. Earth satellite in four turns. I will quickly get the Royal Society just so that I can throw some builders at it. It's always very helpful to do. Then we'll go for Earth satellite. But again, it doesn't stop me from doing things like buying uh, traders in a second, which we'll do that. Actually, no, I might as well in my capital, build it manually, send it over. Perfect. That is now my 27th city, Yamagata. And we are happy to see it because with every new city comes a new potential harbor. I wonder if that digger core actually has the movement here to take Vilnius next turn. Who truly knows? At any rate, I don't mind because my three new bombers. But actually, I've got too many bombers. I realize I'm losing aluminium. It's fine. We can hold this for 25 turns. There's plenty of time. There you go. Vilnius is now on zero health. Come on, Australia. Worry, worry a monk it. You know you want to. Oh, my helicopter can't reach. Another time. Another time. Is there any need to continue attacking? Probably not. However, I have the army. I might as well use it. It's sharp. Ah, you can insta-build me a wonder, which is cool. If I had any space to put wonders down, I'd use it. Environmental power, four era score. Have I stolen Taj Mahal? I have. I wonder why I was suddenly getting so much era score. Beautiful. Okay, well, we're now guaranteed golden ages pretty much for the rest of the game. That's not me being blasé. That's just how Taj Mahal works. So much extra era score. It is ridiculous. Mogadishu. Shall I kill Mogadishu? Hmm, that might cause an emergency, but there's so many people allied to me and friending with me. I don't think it's actually going to be a problem. So I might just take it. Just it, it, It's another trade route, so why not? Cold War. City-state emergency. Oh, we won. Yay! Australia did take it on, and I think they took it on with a warrior monk, you know? That's... I, I respect that. <laughs> I respect that. Yeah, I've run out of nitre, so my artillery are no longer firing, because I totally forgot it was nitre that I use for artillery now. Not oil, which is weird and annoying, because I have about 18 oil coming in per turn, and there is no nitre on the map anywhere that anyone will sell me. Well, I can't get too annoyed. Also Ultimately, the artillery are not really the important point anymore. No, now we have bombers. And bombers do everything, except better, and at a longer distance. Bam, look at that. The city is disintegrating. In fact, the city has disintegrated. Helicopter comes in, we take it. That is Alhambra. Means my government's even bigger now. Yay! Coal and nitre. Let's pop that in. Hopefully, that means we should be able to at least keep some of our artillery happy. Might reduce the combat penalty a little bit. Professional sports. I mean, 
means two of the best buildings in the game have now become available to us. Namely, the Aquatic Center and the Stadium, which are always really handy if I can remember where on earth I put them. I'm not saying that my empire is very, very laissez-faire run in the way that it is, because it's not. It's serious. It's, it, it's... There you go. There's the Aquatic Center. Go on, Okiyama. You know you want to be happy. You know you want to be happy. There's four luxuries in the city, so it's unlikely to be happy, but you know you do. Plus four. It's getting there. Okay, so actually, this can only go to zero, even without luxuries. That's pretty cool. We'll work on this zoo and stadium next. Plus three combat strength from my spy. Don't worry about me just lurking around in Spyville. Artillery strikes once, and then twice, three times, four times, and then you know what time it is after that. It's bomber time. Oh yes, when you've got three bombers, anything is possible. Three bombers and a helicopter, more like. Anything is possible. Let's test all these friendships out. No one should step in on Mogadishu here, yeah? because everyone's allied to me. What are you going to do? It was always mine. It was always mine. Don't worry about it, world. It's all good. Keep attacking. You never know. We might be able to defeat this this turn. Maybe. Normally a machine gun can come in and just tickle the city a little bit into submission. So it can this time. Isik joins us. Hello. Welcome. This is Ursa's empire. It's like a normal empire, but better. Kind of almost tempted to leave Scythia to all of these cities that she can't handle. But then again, I'm like, hmm, is it worth it? Actually, I say that it is worth it. Namely because that is, <laughs> so she's put a research quarter down in the middle of this mountain ring. Uh, that should be a campus, but, but sure. I like the ambition. I'm going to take this city for the aluminium. Actually, which city have I got to take for the aluminium? Yep, the southern city. That's good. That was turn 200, by the way. A turn 200 Earth satellite. It's not too bad. A kill, Uluru, and up we go. Look at how many buildings are in that shot. That is, that kind of sums up the mod, really. I mean, it's, it's pretty wild. Beep, 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 beep. I always love that one. <laughs> All right. Integrated space cell. 15% bonus production because I've got the seaport or military academy towards space projects. Okiyama, moon landing, five turns. I feel like I'd like to do that quicker. Can we not just arrange to do that quicker? Is that a thing? Go nuclear program and we can get science foundations in and we can rush it. We need scientists, we need engineers, we need the whole shebang. A little bit of health here, but luckily my modern armor army can come in and just obliterate the city. Another source of aluminium. Amazing. Here's a stadium. Go on, Okiyama. Plus four happiness, one luxury in. Oh, you're so close. You want to be happy. You do. You just have to admit it to yourself. I build a fisher's quarter in here. I can put the building in that city. That'll give it another two immunities. Then we'll be happy, I think, possibly. I love how with all of this war, there are still religious emergencies going through. It's like, do you not think there are more important things happening right now? <laughs> no? Okay. This airport that Saivia built has been perfect. It's been able to hit every single one of their cities. They physically could not have placed it in a better location for me to then invade them. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> it's, it's really helpful. Robotics. And I think I've already found the last project. Yep. Smart materials was literally here. Amazing. Okay. Right. Well, that's, uh, that's worked out really well. Let's go full space. I don't need to buy tiles anymore. As fun as that is, let's probably take that out now. Go science foundations. This will just rush through all of the scientists, all of the engineers. Hopefully give me people that can help me make rocket parts. Possibly. Probably not going to. In the meantime, Okiyama is really, really growing. Why did I not build a monument this entire game? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes even I stagger myself. Fisherman's War. Two extra amenities with zero on luxuries. There you go. This city is now happy. There's nothing it can do. It has to just accept that it's happy. <laughs> just, just be happy. Another city taken from Sevilla. Only one left. Olbia. That is annoyingly difficult to get to, especially if I can't get through Samarkand. Seven envoys needed to do that. I, I guess I do have a card, I think, that gives me open borders. Gunboat diplomacy. Let's try and put that in. That's that's not a bad idea. We've probably got a civic somewhere that's a one-turner. Yeah, reform church. Let's put that in. I don't want to leave Saivia in the game. I'm like, nah, I'm over it. We've had our fun. Now that fun needs to stop. Oh, I'm so glad I built all, of the, all over the floodplain. So, so glad. That's a lot of stuff on fire. Okay, we were able to move a couple of units in. Artillery strike. Artillery strike, and most importantly, one bomber, two bomber, and the most important one, three bombers. Sorry, Spy, I know you've literally just arrived, but this city is under new management. I will be remembered. Will you? Who are you again? I don't remember. I've I've lost that information, but that's my bad. I'm sure other people will remember you, probably. Yeah, no, I'm really struggling. Uh, who were you? <laughs> 
Anyway, we'll get some grievances for doing that, but far less grievances than if Tamiris was still around. And we're not planning on going to war with anyone else, so it's all good. Everyone will forget. The world will move on. It's harsh. It's cruel. But it's true. See what? This really is just like one massive super city. Could this be any more Japan? I'm not entirely sure it could, you know. This is, this is like max Japan going on here. Oh, there's a flood there now. I just fixed that all. I literally just fixed that all. I had a builder. Look, here he is. Like, literally just moved him off this space. Come on. That is mean. Right, the fourth project is ready. So we are kind of running a little bit behind on industry compared to where I would like to be right now. If I was being super efficient, I'd have the first three projects done. But as it stands, moon landing isn't even done. I forgot to even build a builder last turn. I've been rushing these through. There are only three charges, but oh, actually the military engineer can probably... Nope, don't have the movement for it. This is the least efficient I've run this stuff in a long time. <laughs> oh dear. You know, Curtin is just behind me. He's just on his way to space as well. I'm actually quite impressed with how he's kept up. I mean, I'm 12 techs ahead of them now. I'm on 68 to his 56, but still Curtin, Madman, off you go. There's the moon landing. Massive culture bonus equal to 10 times my science per turn, which should be 14,000 culture. And speaking of, now I have collective activism, which just gives me a little bit more culture. Five turn Mars colony. Yeah, this sort of stuff takes far too long. Rush it with a really naff builder, I say. Really naff. Oh, actually that's not too naff. That was like 300 production from one builder. Yeah, fair enough. We're doubling it. Doubling the production per turn. I should probably put the builder charge in, but I just can't be bothered. Oh, look. Manhattan Project. Oh, my lord. Operation Ivy. Oh, my lord. So much going on. Sure, we'll have no need to use any of that. No need at all. The modern age. It's a golden age. Isn't that wonderful? Let's go heartbeat of steam. It's quite a lot of bonus production around my land. Um, I, I have some fairly silly campuses. Plus 12, plus 12, plus 10. <laughs> yeah, they exist. They're pretty cool. Here is Tesla, which means actually the next might be a bit cheaper. There is Goddard. I need Goddard. Goddard is the one, and I do not want Australia picking Goddard up. Doesn't have a lot of science. Uh, gold or faith, so we should be okay, actually. We're voting again, and I'd like cheaper units just in case I need to use them. I'd love it if Turkles... Turkles? Turtles made more amenities. That's great. And we'll vote for Nubia. Have a world's fair. To be honest, as I say, don't really mind about diplomacy. No one is anywhere near winning. Dies no gold monetary okay we didn't get really anything there as you can see the highest person is on 10 out of 20 so ages away from winning all the tech i need is done i could mess about with future techs or future era techs but i'm just gonna go for future techs that doesn't make any sense i just want the the repeatable the five percent boost let's just keep getting that mars colony off it goes yay go to mars now on to exoplanet we're still on five turn builds on this stuff come on rush that through quicker please Optimization imperative. We are now a synthetic technocracy. Be beautiful. Economic Union, get back in here. Basically anything that gives me production or a bonus in any way towards my space projects. That's what we're going for at the moment. Let's finish off the turn by rushing Estadio because democracy did give me quite a lot of happiness. So Estadio is very much very welcome to fill in that hole. Two immunities in every city of my civilization, as well as the still unpatched glitched six culture per city. Let's never change it, Civ, ever. Oh my goodness, have you seen the car park? Sorry, car park checker. That's going into the sea. Hmm. Is that that's where the, the amphibious boats, the cars that can drive into the sea. I guess an amphibious boat is just a boat, isn't it? An amphibious car is what I meant. <laughs> That's where they live. Oh, I'm on fire today. I really am. How's the happiness doing in my city? It's back up to five, supposedly. Interesting. Operation Ivy. Complete. Thermonuclear device. Why not? Well, actually, to be fair, there's many, many reasons why not, but uh, I'm going to build one anyway. Exoplanet Expedition is a go. Huzzah. All right, we're just counting down now. Luckily for me, I can one turn my projects. Unluckily for me, I think I'm going to burn a lot of coal doing this, and I have have no coal. Maybe I should actually convert to nuclear power. Is that a good idea? No, my coal power plant is pretty, pretty crazy here. I'll convert to nuclear power at a nearby one. That'll be good. Actually, no. Do I want to do that? No, this is already oil power, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I've got like, uh, yeah, I've got 13 oil per turn coming in. Oh, sod that. Laser stations, I'll go. You're going to see a lot of these projects going up now, but it's really cool just seeing all the houses underneath. So many. It's a thermonuke. I have nothing to to drop my thermonuke on. It's unfortunate everyone is my friend. Expires in eight turns, you say. Oh, 
Oh, okie dokie, dokie, dokie. Let me just quickly take a little jaunt into nuclear submarine. No reason at all. No reason. Ah, there we go. There we go. Don't mind me. Actually, does this take any cost? No, even in the mod, nuclear submarines still have no strategic cost. They're just the most spammable unit, and they always will be. Forever and ever and ever. Terrestrial laser station. Just keep sending them up, I say. Keep sending them up in little plumes. There is a settler up here. Was this my settler? Did I leave this up here? I think that might be mine. I think I might have just not even noticed that it got stolen. Yeah, because I was going for this oil, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, yeah, I think that ironclad might have found it. It's just like, you're here to save me, Ursa. I've been waiting so long, and I'm like, um, who are you, sorry? Oh, no. Why did I build a mega city around a volcano? <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Oh no, that's my that's my spaceport city as well. Oh dear. Quick, keep going to space. We must leave this behind. Well, I'm desperately trying to fix the volcano damage because to be honest with you, nine light years per turn. Well, that was fairly comfortable. Oh dear, this volcano. Why did you have to go off in the middle of the mega city? To be fair, and one of the things I was fearing with this mod was that it would go full J J Japanese RP. I guess I, I was worried that a hurricane would come in and just slam into my nation and destroy about 20 districts in one go. But luckily, we never had to deal with that aspect, which is just lovely. And we have the science victory. We look at some stats quickly and then I'll have a little word about the mod itself. Nelson Mandela. Cool. Yes, the destruction of Saivia really was uh, very mandela -y. Buildings constructed quite a lot. Cities captured. <laughs> yeah, I had um, I had a little bit of a phase at the end. Sorry, Saivia. Isn't it funny how my captured line and her loss line looks so similar. Weird. Founded. I mean, that's the bit I'm kind of proud of. Look at that. Over 20 cities founded. It's always good when you can get to that level. Culture. Looking fine. We took the lead at about 180. That wasn't even my focus. Era score. We took the lead at about 155. Very slow start for me. Faith. Barely had any all game. Science. There we go. Look, I was actually a science contender pretty quickly. Gold. Who was that? That was Lataro. Okay. Mapuche going crazy on gold. Sure. Wonders constructed. That was me. I, I went for a bit of the wonder phase middle of the game religions founded they all went by turn 60 i mean honestly religions at the moment are going quick i've noticed that in a lot of games recently but look at this for a setup we have tokyo sitting on 32 population kyoto at 24 23 population okiyama 20 population this is a desert city and this is 20 population i mean you really can pack the stuff there are a few things that i've kind of taken away from this mod if you wish to play with this for yourself first of all it's not entirely balanced I mean, some strategies are definitely better than others, such as taking the same district and spamming it together. It's also worth noting that Japan makes this mod fairly trivial, but, you know, we need that coming into this. Secondly, the AI does struggle to use it in some senses. Well, militarily, it struggles to use it. You'll notice that actually the AI doesn't really have a great amount of troops. If it has a unique unit that is quite cheap, it'll use it. If they can levy troops from city-states, it'll use it. But Mongolia, it's only on 60 strength, because I think what what happens is you need things like panzer factories and military academies and whatever to build units and the AI just doesn't really understand the ordering of it very well. Yeah look Vietnam, Mapuche, Byzantium, none of them have pushed their cities above 80 strength. So the AI does struggle to deploy armies. I guess in a sense if you want to play a more peaceful game this mod is quite good for that. On the other hand though look at the general science. The AI is slamming through the game and it's because pretty much any district they put down well it helps their spam. AI loves to spam and especially on deity it means they're just getting all kinds of yields everywhere. It really, really, really suits very, very large crammed in cities, which is what the AI does perfectly. I imagine if you came across Yong Lei or a fellow AI Japan using this mod, you might have a lot of trouble, especially just in the raw science output. I mean, if you have a look, turn 222, Amanatore and Curtin are already going to the moon. They haven't unlocked nanotech just yet, but I don't think they are that far behind. I'm only 10 techs ahead. That's crazy considering I've got 2,600 science. And thirdly, one of the things I did notice is whilst spamming all of the different quarters is quite fun, it actually does pay to build like one of everything in every city. And it's not something I really did very well, but what happens is that you get an absolute ton of specialists and the specialists are really, really good. I mean, look at this one. This is a hamlet. This is a neighborhood district and there are eight specialists in there and each one is giving three science and three culture. That's crazy. You, you just need like one of every district and I think the cities will be able to get absolutely plump 
and merry. Now, sure, you'll have to need uh, get a pretty decent source of food, but one farming district and suddenly that's getting specialists of 15 food. It's easy enough to do if you pick the right districts. So yeah, did I enjoy the mod? I really enjoyed it. Enjoyment for this game was up near 10 out of 10. I mean, just creating these massive plump islands full of like specialized districts, this made me ridiculously happy. I did enjoy that. And actually anybody can play this quite well. Japan gets extra obviously for district adjacency, but anybody gets the quarter on quarter adjacency. So you can do that anywhere you want. Give your cities a little bit more space, play on a nice big map, don't be afraid to go military. Is it the most balanced mod? Mm, does it need a little bit of tweaking? I'd say it probably does, but overall, Project Metropolis? Hey, it's worth a try, give it a go. Anyway, I'm off to space. So here is a lovely shot of just the absolute mess that is my nation. Just, just nothing but endless Japanese mega city. It, it's kind of like, yeah, very, very IRL. A little, little science island. <laughs> this, this feels like actual Japan. Look at this, crazy. Oh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Wallaber, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, Flying Dutch Burbs, Nate the Great, Alex Frost, Mean Penguin, Interplanet Janet, Mr. Awesome, Frankincense Battlesword, Sleepy Lab, Bukaluk79, The Nickerman, Bob Loblo, Davalex, Geography Teacher. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!